welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star Series Wave 11, which is comprised of Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, and Majin Buu Final Form. Um, I always just called him Kid Buu. I don't know, I thought that's kind of what we called him. I think even one of the sagas back then was called Kid Buu. Um, Majin Buu Final Form, I guess it's fine. Technically, it's Majin Buu's original form, so... Would that really be final for him? I don't know. I guess that's a debate for another time. In any case, uh, three pretty cool looking figures here. I do like the way it's written Super Saiyan. It looks like his name is Blue Gogeta. <laughs> He's just Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Because um, like they took the time to shrink Super Saiyan 2 all in one line over here for Gohan. I don't know. It's just random. But in any case, I think they all look pretty cool. Um, I think it's kind of funny the way these work, how you can kind of pull the legs of enough away from the body to do different poses, but because he was packed like that, it almost looks like his leg is off in the packaging. But it, I guess if it works for anyone, it would work for Boo, because he has crazy, stretchy, bendy powers. But uh, yeah, packaging pretty much on point. Uh, pretty much always been the same for Dragon Stars. Uh, really nice picture of the character here on the side. Uh, they stopped doing Build-A-Figure pieces. They stopped with, I want to say, Wave 9. I think Wave 9 was the first wave with Dragon Ball Z characters. They've kind of exhausted most of the of the characters from Dragon Ball Super. Obviously, you have uh, SSB Gogeta. You have this new version of Broly, um, which they did the old version of Broly as a Build-A-Figure between waves like 7 and 8. And now they're doing this, you know, Dragon Ball Super version of, of Broly. I'm like, all right. He's just... The only thing different is his pants. I mean, the rest of the figure is pretty much the same. So I'm not going to bother picking this one up. I do also have uh, Gotenks. But I'm waiting to find 18 before I do them. And I still need to get 10, actually. 10 was... I think Perfect Cell, Android 17, and I think... Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I think. So yeah, I have Series 9. I need Series 10. I need like one more of Series 12. And now 13 and 14 have already been announced. Um, which I think... I think 13 is... I want to say Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Super Saiyan 2 Goku. And Piccolo, but now with the cape and the hat. I already had the regular like regular version of Piccolo, no cape, no hat, was in, I think, Wave 9, so I'm not going to rebuy him with the hat. Um, but they are doing, this is, okay, so this is Super Saiyan 2 Gohan when he defeats Cell. They are doing Super Saiyan 1 Gohan with the cape in the same outfit, and I, I probably will rebuy that figure because he's a different hairstyle, the cape. And that's one of my favorite looks for Gohan across all of Dragon Ball Z. So um, I think Wave 14 has Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Uh, Super Saiyan 1 Gohan with the cape in this outfit. And then the last one in that wave is somebody else that I remember thinking I'll probably buy. I don't remember who it was, though. If I think about it, I'll tell you later. In any case, uh, packaging for these, very cool. Love the artwork on the side. Let's go ahead. Let's get these guys out of the boxes so we can take a closer look. Taking a look at these three figures out of the packaging, I have to say, they all look really good. I'm actually really impressed with how they look. Um, I don't want to say they look like figure arts, because I feel like that's not true. But when you think of the fact that figure arts are usually $50 plus a piece, these are anywhere between like $18 to $20, depending on where you grab them. I think they're definitely, they hold up as a nice alternative. <laughs> Very nice cost-effective alternative. Um... The joints and everything still feel pretty good. I feel like they're getting looser with every release. They're not like super floppy yet. And I mean, it's kind of nice that you don't have to really worry about them snapping. But I do feel like there will come a time where these molds kind of crap out. And the joints will just get super floppy. <laughs> they're not quite there yet, which is good. But uh, head sculpt looks great. I think this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan looks really sharp. Face nicely detailed and painted. Got a little bit of a weird thing going on in the hair over here. That kind of looks like a seam of plastic. So I don't know if that was like an assembly thing or what. But for the most part, very sharp. And I love Gohan in this outfit. So this is definitely uh, a must for me to pick this guy up. 
but he definitely looks great. I really like him quite a bit. He does come with some alternate hands in case you want to give him the Kamehameha, which is very cool. Um, I guess I'll go over artic articulation for these is really all the same, to be quite honest, but the head is goes from side to side. It has a little bit of up and down movement, but the hair kind of limits it. There's kind of movement there in the neck as well, but it doesn't really go anywhere. I will say that like every Dragon Ball figure kind of looks towards the ground. I guess it's part of their like menacing scowl, but I wish you could tilt the heads back a little bit, just a little bit more. Shoulder spins around. You have a hinge as well, which is pretty tight. Probably the tightest part of the figure, actually. Uh, bicep swivel, two elbow joints. You have that standard kind of hinge and swivel in the wrist. He's got kind of a swivel joint there in the top so he can go side to side at the waist. And then you have the legs can kind of pull down a little bit so you can kick them out to the side. You can kick them forward, even kind of back a little bit. Two joints in the knee, and then you have that same kind of uh, wrist joint in the ankle where you have the hinge, the swivel, and then the ball joint at the end of it for the foot. So, but yeah, they look good. Like I said, definitely um, a fan of the way these turned out, and I think, at least for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, they really nailed the head. I think they did a great job with that. Not to say that the other ones don't look good as well, but we'll get to them in a moment here. See if I can get him to stand back up. We'll save the big guy for last. We'll check out Kid Boo. He looks good. He His legs are a little weird, though. He's got kind of this weird diaper thing going on in the middle there. And you can kind of push the legs up to fill in so that it just looks like pants. And it's not that much of a problem. But if you kind of move the legs at all, I don't know. I feel like they just this part extends a little bit too far. If they just pulled that back a little bit, I feel like it would work a little bit better. But it's a minor complaint. I mean, for the most part... The head sculpt is fantastic for him. He's got those evil eyes, evil smirk. All the detailing looks really good. He's got pretty much all the same articulation. His arms feel like they're a little detached from the body in certain poses, which looks a little weird. But you can kind of push it up and then it looks normal. Again, I kind of equate it to, you know, Boo's got weird elasticity to his body, so you can almost kind of play it off as that. But... Like, when you just put him in a normal pose, then he looks great. He looks fine. And you can definitely kick the legs around, pull them down, do some weird stretchy stuff if you want to. He's got the same, pretty much the exact same. I would say he's got pretty much the same legs as Gohan, at least down to here where they put in the weird boot. But yeah, overall, I think he looks excellent. I've always been a fan of this form for Boo. Really, I gotta be honest, there's not too many Majin Boo forms I don't like. I really like all of them, so if they want to do figures for all of them, I say have at it. He's got the index finger for the ball of energy pose, and then he's got some kind of normal open hands, maybe to try and stop a spirit bomb. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, really like Kid Boo. I think they did an excellent job on him. Um, but next up, we'll take a look at the centerpiece of this series, in my opinion. And when I say series, I mean wave, because the, the packaging calls it Series 11. I always call them waves. To me, the Dragon Star, the whole thing is the series. But In any case, here is Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta. And this guy's just impressive. I don't know what it is. I mean, if you want to equate any of these to a figure art, I feel like this guy looks the most like a figure art. It's just, it's big. It's impressive. It's really sharp. The face sculpt looks great. The hair is fantastic. The cape is just a loose piece on the body. It just kind of rattles on there, but I think that works. I think it's fine. He's got kind of this, like... I don't know how, what you would call it, but like like skin tone wash or something that just kind of accentuates the detail carved into the muscles and everything like that. I don't know if that's supposed to be like him radiating power or like something. Because we had that one figure where it was 
um, Goku doing the um, Kaioken Super Saiyan Blue, so he had that kind of weird red tone to his skin. I wouldn't say it's exactly like that, but it, that's what it reminds me of. But, again, they all have this kind of, like, MC Hammer Pants thing going on here. Um, but he's got nice silver paint on the on the shoes down here. And like I said, just the, the head sculpt and the hair, I think, just look perfect. Really, really, really cool. I think they did such a nice job on this. He's got all the same articulation as the others. Nothing new there. Uh, he's got the belt here on the side. Just every part of this figure, I think, looks great. They really did a nice job with this. I know I always, I always just put them in this pose, but I like this pose. This is the come get some, I'm ready for anything pose. Let's see if I can get him to stand up. There we go. He comes with some open hands as well. So he can do different moves and things. But uh, I'm really impressed. I gotta say, I really... I didn't expect this to look as great as this does. And I, that sounds harsher than I mean it to sound. Like I said, the wave has been fine. Or I should say the series of figures has been fine. I've been collecting them for some time now. And I like them. But I feel like this guy is definitely one of the best. Just overall looks great. Great articulation. Great paint. Sculpting. Just everything about this guy looks really, really good. I am having a little bit of trouble with his feet. And I don't think that's anything wrong with the feet. There we go. I just popped the foot off. I kind of think I just have to move this around. And sometimes it's easier to do without the foot attached. And then you just pop it right back on just the ball joint. So that's what happened with Gohan's foot too. There we go. Is that better? Maybe? I don't know. I feel like that's kind of loose. And I don't think it's ultimately going to be a problem as long as I can just make him find his footing. But it is a little bit of a bummer. But that should just be mine. I don't think they'll all be like that. But yeah, he looks great. I definitely recommend all three of these, but if you're on a budget, I would definitely say Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta is my pick out of this wave. Uh, he looks fantastic. Very large, imposing figure. I feel like you're definitely getting your money's worth uh, with that figure. And maybe it's just because the other two figures in this wave are so tiny by comparison. But he just seems, like, huge compared to the others. And I, I wish I had another Dragon Star figure handy to compare him to. I don't... Um, but yeah, I don't know, he just seems really large and imposing, and like I said, the, the paint looks great. Uh, the head sculpt is fantastic, I love the hair, the blue hair I think is really awesome. Uh, it's the, the Super Saiyan Blue has just become one of my favorite forms for them. Again, I'm biased, blue is my favorite color, but I just think that they look great. And uh, this figure is really, really nice, I like it a lot. Now that's not to say anything bad about uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan or Kid Buu, also both excellent figures. Uh, definitely some of my favorite uh, characters and forms of those characters uh, throughout Dragon Ball Z. So this is a really good wave, I have to say. <laughs> uh, wave 11, definitely a good wave. All three of these figures are pretty excellent. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.